Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks with Lynn Allen. Today we're going to discuss tips that have to do with text, something that we do all the time, right? More specifically, I'm going to be focusing on single line text, or as we know it, dtext. So I'm going to go ahead and put some dtext on the screen. Let's go ahead and type some text, right? Now what you may not know is that without even leaving the dtext command, you can move your cursor anywhere else on the screen and you can continue to type. Continue to add more individual text strings all over your drawing. Very, very simple. This is a great way to knock out all types of text strings very quickly. Single line text strings, of course, all over your drawing. And it's very, very easy, right? Now, the tip here, however, let me just let you know, is that you need to make sure that your system variable dtextEd is set to 2. That's very, very important. And that is the appropriate setting if you're using AutoCAD 2007 or AutoCAD 2008. If you're using a release before that, you're going to want to set it to the value of 1 to be able to use this functionality. Okay? Have you ever been in a situation where you wanted to place a text string directly below one that already exi existed, but you wanted to make sure that it lined up perfectly? That's an easy thing to do if you haven't figured out how to do that. We're going to go into the dtext command, and what I want to do is I want to grab the insertion point or the justification point of this existing text string. I typed in INS. You'll see I get my lovely little OSNAP marker there. And now it's very, very easy to, mark to set this up. I'm not going to type anything in here because, of course, I would write right over my existing text. Just hit a space bar and then go to hit an enter to go down to the next line and you can continue to have more text. Right? It's all nice and lined up. Love that. And then the last tip I'm going to share with you today, you might find yourself in a situation where you have a lot of individual text lines. Maybe you have some old drawings where mText wasn't quite popular yet and you really wish that this was mText because you need to change the width of this paragraph. Well there is a fabulous express tool. That express tool is called text to M text, and it's very easy to work with. Just select all those individual text lines. In fact, it doesn't even matter the order that you select them in. It's such a smart command, and you're done. Just to prove that to you, you'll see I can select this now. Definitely, it is single line. Excuse me, definitely is M text, and now it's very easy for me to manipulate that around or to go into the M text editor to work on it, whichever you prefer. So those are my text tips for Tuesday. That's a bit of a tongue twister. I hope you've enjoyed them and I hope you have a great rest of the week.